Hello, this is the new Easy Robot Face Demo. Um, you want to obtain the latest version of Easy Face from the J2RScientific.com website under Software. Find the Easy Face section and download the latest version. When you download it, you're going to get a zip file named BotBrain. What you want to do is extract the contents of the zip file to your C drive. Now we have our bot brain folder on the C drive and inside of there there's the easy face application directory there's the easy face builder project for easy easy robot and there's a shortcut to the main application. In the Easy Face directory, that's where you're going to find all the source code written in C-sharp.net. You're going to find a sample faces folder with several sample faces that you can use to help train the Easy Face application. Of course, you can use your own face. In this demo, we're going to use um, some of these test pictures. <coughs> In the bin folder, debug, that's where you're going to find the main application, which is named Multi-Face Rec. Now, the Easy Face application needs to be open directly, at least for the first time. In the new uh, Easy Builder project, there are um, scripts that you can use to call up the application, but I recommend you should first test it, make sure everything is working correctly by directly opening the application. We'll do that now. When you run it for the first time, if no, um, and if you run it any ad additional times and no faces have been trained, it'll you'll get this notice that you need to train at least one face. When the application opens, up at the top, these are going to be your connection settings. By default, it's now set to local host. That is the connection port that will communicate with Easy Builder. And port 66 is the port. That is set by default in Easy Builder unless you've changed it. When you click on connect, that will make the connection if Easy Builder is also running and listening on that port. Otherwise, it will uh, disconnect you. Under the camera controls, this is where the um, face recognition will come up. This is where you can do training. Um, but the very first thing you want to do when you run your application is you're going to need to set up, configure a few things to make it easier for you to use the application. First thing you need to do is refresh your camera list. Now, my camera list, once I did that, I get two devices. The first one is my wireless camera from Easy Robot. The second is my webcam. If I, if down the road, I disconnect some of these devices, I add new ones, the camera list and the order of them will change. And if you store the value of one of these cameras as your default camera device. So after you selected your device for the first time, click on detect and recognize. This should bring up your camera feed, which it does here. I have my webcam pointed at the at the uh, computer here. And as I move this over, now we see that Sarah Connor's face is in view. Her face is highlighted and it's detecting that's a face, but it's not showing the person's name. What we have to do is train it now now that it's highlighted. the So let's enter her name. Sarah Connor. I'm going to click on Add Face. Her face is now added. Anytime I'm going to block it, it doesn't see her face. It does see this face here, but it's not really detecting that as, as her face. We bring it back, and now she's detected. <clears throat> 
so we can train more faces that way following the same process. Uh, if I want to stop detection, I can stop the camera feed. Let's reactivate that. Under options, there's now a few different options. I can set camera to auto run. I can remove the auto run feature. I can set auto connect, which I'm going to do. I'm going to set it to auto connect. Under view, I can view learned faces, which simply brings up the folder where they're stored. I can view the log of detected faces. And as it was first running, it wasn't detecting anything. And then it detected Sarah Connor's face. Under file, I can, if I want to erase everything that I've done, I can delete learned faces. I can delete the log of detected faces. I can save my user settings and I can tell it to reload my user settings. By default, your user, your user settings will be loaded when the application runs. So now that I've got my camera and I've adjusted a few things, I want to set this to um, save, my, save my settings. Click OK. And face detection starts up again. Now I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to go ahead and close this for now. Now what I want to do is open up the project in Easy Builder. <clears throat> There's several new scripts. Uh, please read the directions. It explains what these different scripts do. Uh, we do have a. We start with a, a camera feed. So if we re refresh the list here, refresh our list. Let's pick. I'm going to pick my webcam. I'm going to click start. So you see, we have our camera feed here. These Easy Builder scripts here start and stop. These are going to affect the camera over here. If I click on the stop script, it sends the command to stop it. I'm moving my webcam. You can't see that, but I moved it and the image did not refresh. If I start it, now my camera is back. These scripts are fairly simple. You can see in here, this line is commented out to tell you what it is. Control camera, and then I'm passing it the what I want to control and the command. <clears throat> Down here, the easy face stop, easy face close, easy face start, and the easy face open. These are all these are the controls that will affect um, easy face. The easy face start. If I click on that, and I do not have the Easy Face application running, if I click on Start, actually I clicked on the wrong one. I meant to click on Open. The Easy Face Start will only work once it's running. Easy Face Open opens the application, and from where I had previously set it to Auto Connect, it already connected, and it's sending variables. It's receiving a null, and it's not sending anything because there's no faces recognized. Now, the selected camera list, you'll see it goes back to zero. That's just that's a default view because the camera re refresh isn't, um, isn't there. But my previously selected settings, if I stop this feed over here, I go to stop. I've now stopped using my camera in Easy Builder. Over here, if I click on the Easy Face Start, <clears throat> and with the camera feed started, I can now tell it to stop. and the camera feed stops. I can start it again. 
There it goes. And I can stop it. And since it's stopped over there, I can start the camera feed back over here and it's refreshed. I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera over here. I'm going to hit easy face start to start the video processing over here. And then I'm going to use the easy face connect test. What that will do is look for a change in the face value. If it, it detects a face that it recognizes, it will pass that variable to Easy Builder, and Easy Builder will speak the response, the name, and then it will uh, stop the process. So I click on Start. I bring up this. Hello, Sarah Connor. And if you could hear that, it said Hello, Sarah Connor, and then because the script tells it to send a stop command, face recognition has now stopped. I've grabbed the face value, and now if I wanted to return to whatever I was doing in Easy Builder, I can hit camera start again, and I get the camera feedback. This is handy if you have one camera and you need to share the duty of it within Easy Builder and Easy Face. If you have two cameras and you have one just running Easy Face and the other one running uh, for Easy Builder or whatever, then you can, you can run two at a time and just leave Easy Face running all the time. But being able to communicate back and forth to Easy Builder is pretty handy. You can also close the application entirely with Easy Face Close. I start that, my application goes away. I'll go to Easy Face Start. Again, I picked the wrong one. I meant to click on Easy Face Open. And the application comes back. And again, I can, I can tell it to start. I can tell it to stop the, uh, the camera feed. And if I wanted to auto run here, if I tell it um, auto set auto connection, then when the application loads, it will automatically to connect to the camera that you set as its default. And remember that one camera cannot be used in two applications at the same time. But as long as you are stopping the camera in one application, then you can bring it up in the other one as we are here. So in your own usage, <clears throat> if you have a script that you're using, your robot is perhaps detecting tracking color or something, and then all of a sudden you ask the your robot, who am I? At that point, you might utilize these scripts or some of these functions into your own script to tell it to stop the camera feed, <coughs> open easy face, start the face recognition, grab the face value, return that, and then yeah, either stop using the camera or close out the application entirely. And then you could go back and use your camera again. And also these two scripts are were submitted by Rich from the Easy Robot Forum. Um, these scripts help show off and demonstrate what Easy Face can do working with Easy Builder. If you utilize these scripts in your own uh, project, uh, what one thing you will want to make sure that you have set is under your connections, go to your options, click on the server tab, and make sure that you have it selected with the check mark, the enable server for your EasyB board. Even if you don't have an EasyB board yet, or you don't have one connected, this must be enabled along with the port setting. This is what um, sets up your TCP communications. And this is what will allow EasyFace to work with EasyBuilder. And um, in today's demonstration, we were using it without an EasyB board so that you can use just the software and you can use easy face to integrate with other applications um, it may not uh, if you uh, integrate it to use the same uh, variables you can do it that way you can use it to use the log function or if you put in a request through um, through the j2r scientific website use the contact us function and uh, let me know what you're interested in what your specific needs are and i'll see if i can help you Thank you.